about 7.15 in the morning. I'm standing in front of the Vogue offices and bright and early, it is the first activity of, the first like real activity. I mean, we did the cocktail party already and all that kind of stuff, but this is the first like real work that we've got to do for this. So I have to go up in a few minutes and basically present my collection and show the judges, you know, so they're all like on a panel, so they're all sitting at a table and I have to show them all what we're doing. So I'm bringing five outfits and basically just explaining the brand to them. Um, I think there's 15 minutes on the timer. Yeah, so it's, you know, a bit of a high pressure environment, but I had to organize it all like two weeks ago because I was coming from LA. Yeah, this is hard. Like, what do you show from all the stuff that you've made? Five outfits. You don't want to have, like, too much repetition. Like, you don't want, like, everyone's in a jacket or something. You know what I mean? Like, too much clothes. You kind of want to have some variation. It's denim. I have not even think about denim. Jesus. really hard. Five is not a big number. Yeah, the question is like, do you push it and wear something, you know what I mean, like you, the looks are really like the most editorial, really focus on commercial product and it's like these are the, you know, these are five like extremely commercial, these are five looks that are just really good product that like, you know, is sort of the core stuff or the most interesting. So I just remembered a whole bunch of other stuff that's like older, you know, this was one of our best selling Outerwear pieces that we ever did. Hair. I had to take a break. That was just. It's really. It's doing my head in. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so hard. Well, no, I know why it's so hard because it's a high pressure. It's a high pressure thing and you want to get it right. Um, and yeah, it's a tricky one because you want to show the best stuff that we've ever done and things that feel strong and original, but also like make a good outfit. And if you kind of pick out all of the best things, they don't necessarily all like go together in an outfit. And it's only five outfits. I'm gonna go to the gym and think about it. Okay, we are back from the gym and I don't really feel like I have um, any really better understanding of what I'm gonna do. Um, I know that there's five looks Two past, two present, two future. So I have to figure out kind of what represents our past and what, what the brand's been doing previously that I guess it's not really doing right now. And then present, which would be current season kind of stuff, maybe stuff that's on the website, um, some particular highlights, for example. And the future would be things that we're working on. So maybe like coming seasons and prototypes and bits and pieces like that. Um... Well, uh, that took much longer than expected. I changed my mind a million times. I got COVID. I recovered. I don't really know what's going on anymore, but I leave in the morning, so bags are packed. It's a lot of luggage for a quick little trip to New York, but literally it's one suitcase full of hangers. <laughs> what is my life? Um, yeah, let's go. So the looks are all packed up and everything, but there's one thing missing. I gotta get socks, you know, everybody gotta get a fresh pair of socks for the occasion. Seems only fitting, so I'm gonna take you to the best spot, my little secret weapon here. The real ones know what it is. 
that's it, that's the one. So now I'm outside and I'm waiting for Rufat, my buddy, who is gonna be my model of the day. I pressured him into doing it. <laughs> so he's gonna meet me here and we're gonna go up and make it happen. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> Okay, this is all our stuff. There's Rufat. What's up? <laughs> and we've got a little bit of time before we get started. And we're gonna just kind of make sure everything is primped and ready. And then we'll get him dressed and do the thing. Belt's right here. Dress chaos over here. And the leopard one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Looks like you're gonna go skin a bear right now. <laughs> About to head over. Just going on over. Okay, that was just it. Hi. How'd that go, Rufat? <laughs> okay, so we are back in the little dressing room that just ended. Um, that was cool. That was 15 minutes. It flew by so fast. Kind of blacked out. Don't really know what happened, but they definitely asked me a lot of questions, and they were super nice, and it was scary, but you know. You deal with it. They asked me a bunch of questions um, about the business, kind of like, you know, where things are made, what the prices are, how much, whatever, sort of how we're showing. They want to talk a lot about also like social media stuff and the marketing side of things. And now we've got to go downstairs for like a surprise. I'm scared. Okay, what do you think the surprise is? Um, if I had to guess, I think it's about the design challenge. Okay. What do you think? I have no idea. I really don't know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 